What is up YouTube? Just chilling here. Decided to make a YouTube Dippers account. I'm going to start making some videos and try and help you guys out and talk about some shit that's been on my mind recently. Um, I'm just going off my iPod right now because it's late and I didn't feel like busting the camera out just to make a short dip video here. But um, I've been sitting here tonight watching these dip videos on how to dip in school and I don't think any of that shit is right. I think that most of the people that are showing you videos here are pussies for the most part because if you're going to dip in school you shouldn't have to spit in a bottle that's concealed in your Carhartt pocket or anything like that. I think if you're going to dip in school you better just gut it like a man or use some uh, good old Mountain Dew to trace it down. Like that, that's all it takes right there. I mean, you don't have to put in a big hoss or anything, but, uh, just need to keep it small and chase with Mountain Dew. I mean, you don't have to conceal your can and some basketball shorts and shit in your pants and whatnot. You just need to fucking put your can behind your wallet in your back pocket and nobody will see it. It won't fall out. It will be safe. That's all it takes. But you don't have to take all these measures not to get caught. I mean, if you're that worried about getting caught, you probably shouldn't be dipping in school anyway. Now, I'm dipping on some Copenhagen wintergreen right now, and I'm about to throw in a, a bigger pinch. Try and do this one-handed here. I don't know how that will work very well. And I hate the kids that, you know, pull out your lips and put it in. You just got to... Take it like a man, that's all it takes right there. Now, my buddy Justin, he's going to start making dip videos too. He hasn't set up his account yet because this is something uh, we just decided to do off the fly one night playing COD. But uh, I'm just here, going to help you try and dip in school a little better today. So first off, if you're going to dip in school, then you've been in school long enough, you should know what teachers are more like watchful than others about kids that are dipping like my school it's a bunch of hipsters and nigger wannabes and shit you know they don't look out for us country boys much and uh i think i'm the only quote unquote redneck in our school that dips now what i usually do is i don't dip any of the hard shit in school that i know i can't gut right off the bat like i know i can't cut copenhagen natural or copenhagen long cut i just stick to Copenhagen wintergreen that's what I got in school and I'm gonna go to school here in a couple hours anyway and that's what I'll be dipping on tomorrow in school now I dip pretty much every period but I've been dipping for seven years now and I can handle my shit I don't even need to spit that often I can just cut it for the most part like right there but yeah I mean you know what teachers are watchful and shit of that so if they're watching you more you probably shouldn't be dipping in their class Let's try and play some music here. Like, I know my first and second hour teachers do not watch at all. So that's usually where I do my morning dips, and then my fifth and sixth periods don't watch at all either. And that's where I'm doing my afternoon dips. Now, you don't even have to dip at school. You can just dip before school, first period, throw it out, or just do it at lunch or whatever. But just gut it. Don't be a pussy and try and spit in a bottle because you're going to get caught. That shit is so obvious. Just gut it or chase it with Mountain Dew or something. Or if you're that worried, just don't do it in school. You can wait the six, seven hours. I mean, it's not that important. It's not worth being caught. I've been caught four times back in my younger days in my eighth grade and freshman year dipping in school. And, you know, I regret that shit. I've had so much trouble with that in the past and whatnot. But I've learned from my mistakes, and I know what not to do now. You're not taking big fat hosses and just rocking them in the cheek. Just small dips. Put them in the cheek, not even noticeable. Chase with some Mountain Dew. Um, and even you can throw it off. Throw the teachers off. So even if they suspect you dipping, don't do it every day in their class. Do it every other day, every three days. That's another good way of not getting caught. And, I mean... You can be a pussy and chew on the skull, or not skull, but uh, the camel snooze pouches and shit if you really are that girly, but I just stick it to the long cut, you know, keep it original, but um, 
Yeah, that's about all the advice I have. I'll probably do another dip video. I had to dip a little better when I get the whole camera and stuff set up, but probably won't be for a couple of days. I got some tests and shit coming up. You know, I got to get doing. We're about to go on spring bake, so I'll be posting some videos about the shit that we're doing at spring break. Going to go do a couple parties for the most part. Uh, that's about all I know so far, you know. Uh, I recently had to move towns. I had to come live with my aunt because I couldn't deal with mom shit no more, so I moved out. And going down to this new school, uh, Moscow, Idaho, represent, right? But, um, originally from Kellogg, Idaho, which is a big mining town, and everybody dips up there. Everybody's dad, brother, mother, sister. I know a couple girls to dip up there, too. But like I said, um, subscribe, like it up. I'll have some better videos and some higher quality uh, videos up there. Sorry, I'm slurring my words a little bit here. But yeah, that's about all I have this time. I mean, my buddy Justin's going to have a video up and shit soon. So once he posts that shit up, I'll put a link in the description to help him out. Give him some subscribes and uh, whatnot. But thanks for watching and like and subscribe.